हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस न्यूमेरिकल इंटीग्रेशन टेक्निक नेम्ड ट्रेपोजर्डल रूल दिस रूल इज यूजफुल टू अप्रोक्सिमेट वैल्यू ऑफ द डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल बाय यूजिंग ट्रेपोजर्ड्स लेट एस सी हाउ वी नो दैट डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स डी एक्स ओवर द लिमिट ए टू बी इज नथिंग बट एरिया अंडर द कर ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स बिटवीन द लिमिट एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए x is equal to b and above x axis look at this diagram for understanding this is your curve f of x then definite integral of f of x dx over the limit a to b is the area under this curve f of x between the limits x is equal to a x is equal to b and above x axis so this blue color shaded area is nothing but value of this definite integral now let's calculate this area to do so let us partition this area into several intervals of equal distance so these partitions are from x0 to x1 x1 to x2 x2 to x3 and x3 to x4 all these intervals are of equal distance h observe that each of these partitions forms these trapezoids then this total area is nothing but sum of the areas of the trapezoids under the curve f of x between the limits x is equal to a and x is equal to b now let us calculate sum of the areas of these trapezoids for that we will recall area of the trapezoids formula it is given by height by 2 into sum of the bases here we clearly see that height is h then area of this first trapezoid is h by 2 into y1 plus y0 similarly area of this second trapezoid will be h by 2 into y2 plus y1 and so on if we partition this area into n partitions then this area can be given as sum of the areas of n trapezoids that is h by 2 into y0 plus y1 plus h by 2 into y1 plus y2 and so on now we see that this h by 2 is common in every term so when we take it out inside the bracket we will have y0 once y1 twice y2 twice and so on up to yn minus 1 twice and yn once now let us write this as h by 2 y0 plus yn and plus 2 times y1 plus y2 up to yn minus 1 we call y0 plus yn as x and y1 plus y2 plus y3 up to yn minus 1 as r so integral of f of x dx over the limit a to b will be h by 2 into x plus 2r where x is y0 plus yn that is sum of extreme ordinates and r is sum of remaining ordinates so this is what is your trapezoidal rule is so trapezoidal rule says integral of f of x dx over the limit a to b is h by 2 into x plus 2r where x is sum of extreme ordinates y0 plus yn and r is sum of remaining ordinates that is y1 plus y2 plus dot 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 up to yn minus 1 where h is the partition size of this interval a to b now let us see examples on this in this first example we are asked to evaluate integral of e raised to x dx over the limit 0 to 2.5 using trapezoidal rule given this table so in this table this x that is 0 to 2.5 interval is partition into these five intervals so first interval is from 0 to 0.5 second one is 0.5 to 1 and so on and the corresponding values of this e raised to x are given below that means when we put this x value in e raised to x we get answer 1 similarly when i put 0.5 in e raised to x i'll get 1.65 and so on now let us evaluate this integrals value we know that by trapezoidal rule integral of e raised to x dx over the limit 0 to 2.5 
is given by h by 2 into x plus 2r. Here h is x1 minus x0 that is 0 0.5 minus 0 that is 0 0.5 and x is sum of extreme ordinates that is y0 plus y5. So here it is 1 plus 12.18 that is 13.18. Capital R is sum of remaining ordinates. Here remaining ordinates are y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4. When we add them together, we get R is 16.24. Let us substitute these values of h, x and r in this trapezoidal rule. So we get integral of e raised to x dx over the limit 0 to 2.5 is 0 0.5 upon 2 into 13.18 plus 2 times 16.24. When we simplify this, we found answer is 11.415. I hope guys you understood how we use trapezoidal rule to evaluate this integral over the limit 0 to 2.5. Now let us see another example of the similar kind. Here we are asked to find using trapezoidal rule from the following table the area bounded by the curve and x axis from x is equal to 7.47 to x is equal to 7.52 this is the given table now here h is x1 minus x0 that is 7.48 minus 7.47 which we found to be 0 0.01 capital x is sum of extreme ordinates that is 1.93 plus 2.06 it is found to be 3.99 capital r is sum of remaining ordinates that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 it is found to be 7.97 then by trapezoidal rule value of the integral of f of x dx over the limit 7.47 to 7.52 is equal to h by 2 into x plus 2r here h is 0 0.01, capital X is 3.99, capital R is 7.97. When we simplify this, we found it to be 0 0.0996. I hope you understood this example. Now let us proceed for next one. Here we are asked to evaluate using trapezoidal rule integral of 1 upon 1 plus x square dx over the limit 0 to 1 taking 5 equidistant intervals. We have to take these equidistant intervals from 0 to 1. So let us calculate this table of values of f of x over the limit 0 to 1. Since we are dividing this interval into 5 equidistant parts, so each part will be of the distance 1 minus 0 divided by 5 that is 1 by 5 that is equal to 0 0.2. So here h is 0.2. So if we take h is equal to 0.2, then after x0, we get x1 as 0.2, x2 as 0.4, x3 as 0.6 and so on up to 1. Since here f of x is 1 upon 1 plus x square, the corresponding values of f of x are given in the second row. That is when we substitute x is equal to 0 here, the corresponding f of x will be written here. Now let's calculate what is capital X is. Here capital X is y0 plus y5. That is 1 plus 0.5. It is 1.5. Capital R will be y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4. Which is found to be 3.1686. Therefore by trapezoidal rule, value of this integral is h by 2 into x plus 2r h is 0.2, capital X is 1.15 and capital R is 3.1686. So when we simplify this, we found that value of this integral is 0 0.7837. Now let us go ahead for last example. Here we are asked to calculate by trapezoidal rule an approximate value of the integral of e raised to x dx over the limit 0 to 1 in steps of 0 0.20. So to calculate x1, x2, xn, we have to take steps 0 0.20. That means 0 0.20 is value of h. 
So here we say given step size that is h is 0 0.2 and f of x is e raised to x. So using this step size, we will calculate corresponding values of f of x. So here x0 is 0, then x1 will be 0 plus h that is 0.2, x2 will be x1 plus h that is 0.4 and so on up to 1. In second row, we have calculated corresponding values of f of x by substituting value of x in definition of f of x. So e raised to 0 we found to be 1. Similarly, e raised to 0 0.2 we found to be 1.2214 and so on. Now let's calculate value of capital X which is y0 plus y5. y0 is 1, y5 is 2.7183. So capital X is 3.7183 r will be sum of remaining ordinates that is y1 plus y2 plus y3 plus y4 we found value of r to be 6.7608 now finally we say by trapezoidal rule integral of e raised to x dx over the limit 0 to 1 is h by 2 into x plus 2r here h is 0.2 capital x is 3.7183 and capital r is 6.7608 when we simplify this, we found the value of this integral to be 1.72399. I hope guys you understood these examples. Here we saw how to use trapezoidal rule to find value of the definite integrals. Now I have couple of practice example for you. Their answers are also given so that you can cross check it. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not. In my next video, we will see another numerical integral technique called as Simpson's one-third rule. Till then, keep watching. Thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.